Here's the thing, I uh, went thrifting a couple days ago and I realized that I just never filmed an intro so this is gonna be my intro for you guys. It's not me in my car which it just like I feel like it's weird. I feel like more staged doing it this way but it's okay. Um, we're going to a new Goodwill outlet today which is I was actually really pumped about going to it so if you live in the Sacramento area there are two Goodwill outlets. The one that I always go to and you guys see is the one on Day Avenue. This one is gonna be the one on Franklin and I just kind of wanted to check it out and see like if there was a difference like if you've never been to a Goodwill outlet and you live in the Sacramento area and you wanted to know what it's like so again we're going to the one on Franklin Avenue I'll put post it up right here and yeah there I can say right now there really wasn't that much of a difference between the two but I do like the one on Day Avenue better still I think I just like the environment more and I think that's pretty much it if you guys do like anything that you see in this video it will be up on my Depop and that's going to be at Violet Demion and if you just want to troll the internet with me because that's what I like to do on Instagram my handle is at 1-800-BUY I don't know why I just said handle that was oh I forgot to tell you guys, if you are new and you're like confused as to what a good Goodwill outlet is, it's just where you shop by the bin. So it's not like you go through like racks and then you go to a dressing room. There's no dressing room. It's literally just a warehouse or a building with huge bins with clothes piled into it and like every 20 minutes they come out and put new clothes into it so it like gets really addicting and yeah it's really cheap because the clothes go by per pound which i think at this one it was like a dollar and 40 per pound so yeah now let's get into the video and then you just look through these bins so as you can tell i, I mean it could get honestly really overwhelming but you can find so many good things here can we talk about the bedazzling on this okay honestly every time i see anything that says no regrets it just reminds me of the the movie with Jennifer Aniston. There's the cutest little like denim pink jacket. It's actually more pink in person. Like look, it even has the rhinestones in the front, except it's way too tight. I wish this was oversized. Another really cute jacket that would have just been so much better if it was oversized. You again can't tell on camera, but it is like really small. And it's this cute little orange corduroy. And I'm really into the whole ugly orange colors. And this is such a nice little long sleeve. You guys know I love beer tees or anything like that. I have so many on my Depop. I mean, you can deadass find a wedding dress here. And this would probably cost like $3 with a pound. This would be so cute to wear on Valentine's Day, like as a shirt or even as a dress, like with a t-shirt. And then this is what it looks like inside. There's my BFF, Jessica. Isn't she so cute? Doesn't she look like Jessica Alba? <laughs> And then there's all this. As you can see, this one is way more like not in a warehouse. It's more like a store. And then it just goes, that's all this stuff. And it's in bins. I don't know. I don't really think I like the setup of this one because it's too small and it makes me feel claustrophobic. I mean, if this wasn't gray, I think I would get this. Look at this, guys. And it has a little top with a cute little pocket. You could be a sexy auto guy. Can we talk about how perfect this pullover would have been if there wasn't so many disgusting stains on it? It even has the cute little rhinestone. I'm really into the whole like vintage looking gap, just sweaters, not necessarily shirts, but more like pullovers. And I thought this one was pretty cute, except I don't like the colors if this was just all blue. This cute little white t-shirt with the surfboards also would be so nice if it was cropped because it is dirty on the bottom. But this just reminds me of Santa Cruz. In my favorite little lettering, it just says don't and it's already cropped for you another really cute fitted denim jacket i don't know why they're all like small like this like why am i seeing okay i'm a mess right now but do you guys see like what i mean it's so small it's like an extra extra small like never oversized they're all fitted like this these pants are so amazing they give me total 70s vibes they flare out so much at the bottom and then just look at this is this not the cutest thing and then the back it has that, it's just very western vibes. These <laughs> shorts would have been so cute. Who did this? Like look, even the back is really cute. And then it says, pick me on the back, like why? If I'm being honest, I have not found that many really good things. I mean, my car is literally like up to the brim, as you can see, but nothing like really excited me. So I feel like so far, I'm really into the other Goodwill bins, but I also feel like it's because there's so many freaking people here. We have some more gingham pans. I do have a bunch on my Depop, so I'm not gonna pick any up right now, just because I have a similar one up like this. And I'm not really into like the fact that it's just straight up here. There's these really sick like 90s grunge pants, you know, the whole IMGA ones and these are seriously so cute like look at these 
This XO XO mini skirt is honestly pretty cute. Okay, it's not a mini skirt, it's definitely long, but I thought it would be nice to get it and crop it, but I didn't like the front of how it like buttons right there. I found another really cute winter coat. Well, actually, I didn't. Jessica did, but again, I'm not. I don't know if I want to swell it. Look at the inside; it's so fuzzy. And then it's like this navy blue. This also reminded me of the Universal Studios. If you guys have ever been on that ride, but I'm not really into this type of thing, so I'm not gonna sell it on my Depop. But I thought I would show you this adorable long dress. I have so many of these on my Depop, so I'm not gonna pick this one up. But look at it; it even has the little shoulder pads in it. These mom cinched shorts. I'm still debating if I should get them because I do kind of like how it has the little label. I don't know stuff like this. Even if it's not name brand, I just like when it has it on the back. Okay, so I know in the beginning, not in the beginning, but like somewhere in this video, I was talking about how I didn't really like that thrift store. I mean, I liked it, but I thought that the other Goodwill outlet was better. Okay, well, I lied because I feel like they're pretty even because once I got home and started throwing everything into the wash and realized what exactly I picked up, honestly, a lot of good stuff, but I'm going to quit rambling and just show you guys everything that I got. And also the majority of the things is going to be up on my Depop, which is nice because usually I keep a lot of stuff. And as I'm saying that, I'm going to show you guys the dress that I'm actually keeping. But if you guys didn't watch my um, like come thrifting with me the whole challenge video No, it wasn't the challenge It was the one that I just posted and I was thrifting a bunch of these 90s dresses And I found one at the outlet and I'm literally in love like anytime I see these kind of dresses It just reminds me of early 2000s like prom dresses of like high school or even sex in the city And I thought this was gonna be too small on me, but surprisingly it fits so well and I am literally in love with it I need a reason to wear these type of dresses because I've now have three in my closet of ones that I've thrifted I'm telling you guys thrifting 90s dresses early 2000s. It's like seriously the best this skirt also is Seriously adorable. So Jessica actually found this and I am obsessed with the whole chains on this Like do you see this it just reminds me of something that would be on dolls kill and it would just be with like really thick um like buffalo shoes i feel like this would look really cute with buffalo shoes like it just gives me that type of vibe and it kind of flares out as a skater skirt which i didn't think it would but i think i i don't know i feel like there's a lot of cute outfit opportunities with this one so i am actually going to keep that one for myself but then actually let me just show you guys everything that i am keeping for myself so then i don't have to keep saying like oh that's going to be up on my depop so i did end up finding a good pair of jeans i know i always talk about how um like in one of my videos I said I don't remember the last time I bought jeans but I do thrift a lot of jeans starting with these they're like the perfect mom high rise they are a little bit too big but I feel like if I cinch it with a belt and they're gonna be really baggy it's just gonna give me really uh, early like 90210 vibes like the original one not the newer one and I don't know they're the perfect mom fit jean and I also did pick up a pair of Wrangler jeans as well um in one of my upcoming outfits of the week I show you guys Guys, like a pair of Wranglers that I DIY'd and I'm gonna do literally probably the same exact DIY to these just so I have a black pair because they don't really fit me like at the end so I'm gonna turn them into shorts but it fits really well with me at the waist so these are the pants that are gonna be up on my Depop as you could probably already tell starting with these amazing little freaking plaid pants I am obsessed with them they honestly do fit me but because I'm I don't know like it just fits kind of weird around here like the whole midsection because uh they're low rise and i don't really like really low rise things on me but if you are a size like 26 27 these will definitely fit you i am obsessed with them and be aware they are like low rise low rise but they're super cute and i just wish they were a little bit high waisted because i thought they were the most adorable thing and then these again oh my oh, okay these are actually insane so these are these brown true religions and i'm not really into true religion i mean i don't really care for true religion to be honest but let me show you because i don't have a try on portion for this for you guys do you guys see the bottom of how they flare out and like all the nice detailing like it has the let's see if you can see it on this side or like on the back how it has this whole thick stitching on this it is so 70s it freaking hurts these are literally perfect they have one defect in them and it is again i i don't know how it's gonna look like because they don't fit me so i don't know if it's gonna show but like on the back like see it looks kind of normal but then on the inside it's like really like like 
the thing is off so i don't know if you put them on if it's noticeable but i'm gonna they're gonna be like a really low price on my depop because true legends are expensive and these are so amazing like it kills me that they're not my size because i feel like these are the perfect 70s low-rise pants and they are a size 25 for anyone who was wondering and then the last pair of bottoms that i got are just these adidas track pants these are a more tighter fit which i like they really remind me of the whole like soccer vibe because they like cinch everything but they do have a zipper at the bottom so if you don't want them that tight at the ankle you can like release them but i thought they were pretty cute because it's not like your average really baggy adidas track pants that i always wear moving on to the jackets again i'm going to show you guys everything that i'm going to keep for myself so starting with this denim jacket i actually found a really cute denim jacket i mean it's not the classic blue but it is a black one and i think it just is so cute especially because the um the little collar is kind of ripped so i thought that was kind of cute and added a little bit of touch and it is like the perfect fit like it's not too tight but it's not too baggy and i don't know i just think it's adorable and then i also did pick up this one now this denim jacket is kind of weird like can you see it's a little bit like of a weird grayish blue and it kind of looks weird to be honest like it just looks too new so what i'm gonna do is distress it a bunch and just make it like a cute little trucker distressed denim jacket and i don't know if i'm gonna sell it on my depop or not yet because i kind of want to see how it looks like distressed because like this it's not really that cute but i feel like once it's just distressed and everything it will be cute now this jacket i actually if you guys do watch my come thrift things with me regularly i did thrift i'm pretty sure it's almost this exact same jacket and i kept it for myself but i found another one so i'm gonna put this one up on my depop and it's just a corduroy jacket it's like a little bit of a thinner material thinner material it's not so thick and i just think it's like the prettiest blue color it's coming out a little bit more vivid in the like viewfinder i can tell right now but it's a little lot more pale like a nice pale blue and then the last jacket that i got which of course i always have to find some colorful windbreaker for you guys this is just gonna be a it's like a blue again it doesn't look like this on camera but it's like a nice uh like purple and it did, looks a little bit more blue but in real life it's more purple and it's just simple it's not there's not really much going on but i feel like you guys always like my colorful windbreakers or any type of windbreaker so i always get them for you and yeah that was pretty much it so now we're gonna go on to the longest part which is gonna be all these t-shirts again i'm not gonna go into depth into any of the t-shirts because i always just get so many as you guys know anytime i go to the outlets i just stock up on a bunch of t-shirts just because it's my style it's what i wear the most so it's what i like to sell the most which is just graphic tees so let's start with this one it's just so cool like with the flames and the skulls and this is a just a dungeon bar tee and then on the back it literally is like the same thing except it's just one skull and it's super oversized this is definitely like an it's yeah this is a triple xl so this is huge honestly if you're short enough you could wear this as a dress if you wanted to i really like the look of that this next one that i got is just this olive green i debated picking it up but i thought it was kind of cute again it's just this olive green t-shirt and on the back it says Hawaiian legend and I like the little longboard surfboards any of those type of vibes like beachy vibes I like so I decided to pick that one up I also again you guys know I always find some type of Harley Davidson t-shirt this is just a simple navy blue one but I really liked it because the lettering on it is like stitched up like stitched on so it really does give that vintage vibe and then it says harley davidson of st thomas the u.s virgin island so i thought that was really cute and i feel like i always have to say this but i definitely don't ride a harley or anything like that but i am really fascinated by motorcycles so that's why i do sell a lot of harley up on my depop and yeah i'm a fucking poser if you want to call me that that's fine we can agree to uh not disagree but agree so this is another one again another motorcycle one and this is says american motor works and i just really liked this whole vibe of it it sucks because like fourth of july just passed but i feel like this would have been so perfect for the fourth of july i think it's like the cutest little t-shirt and then i also got this gibson guitar one i wish this fit baggy like how this t-shirt fits because i would have definitely kept this for myself this shirt is so sick i just don't like the fit of it on me i don't really like tight hugging t-shirts but i know a lot of other people do so i picked this one up it's just so cute and i'm just upset that it's not baggy but it's okay this 
rose t-shirt we definitely had one exactly like this at urban and it's just a simple black t-shirt with a little rose on it and i think it's just really cute and neat it's really simple but it adds like just that much of a touch to a simple black tee i don't know and then this t-shirt this summit racing one i also thought was pretty sick as well it's just the simple logo for it and i also got i also got okay i'm gonna stop saying that because it's even annoying me this jimmy hendrix t-shirt really freaking love the font of everything i'm just obsessed with it again i'm not really crazy about the fit though because you guys know i like a more baggier fit and it's like a brown color which i wasn't really down with i'm really into like the brown orange tones but this brown i think i just don't like the contrast of these two together enough to keep it but i thought it was still cute maybe one of you guys would enjoy that and then again another thing i wish i found before the fourth of july is just the simple vans tee with the freaking american flag on it it is like just a classic vans i love a good classic vans t-shirt i sell a lot of these on my depop and then i got one more vans which is just this red one and and it has like the red on red and it kind of fades in more does it look like that in real life yeah it does but i don't know it's just a simple little fancy i don't know what else i could say about it and then the last thing that i got is actually not a t-shirt but it's just one of the nice sweaters i know it's still summer but anytime i see these i'll pick it up for you guys because you guys always like to snag it so this is just a regular ralph lauren like polo zip up thing we got going on i don't know i really like these i feel like everyone needs at least one type it doesn't have to be ralph lauren but you know for the fall and yeah that is pretty much it for this entire video again i'm really bad at describing things every single time i feel like i always have to say that but yeah that is it thank you guys so much for watching please like subscribe do all of that and i will see you guys in my next video bye